Hi, and welcome to Two Non-Yarn Snobs. It's me, Sabrina. Anna's not here. We're still socially distancing. And probably will be for quite a while. We did get together for this week. This week, for the first time in two months. And it, it was lovely to get to see Anna and visit. And um, even though we wore masks the whole time. And it was just good to get some social interaction. Other than that, I want to remind you guys that um, we have the spring scrap along going on, and you can um, enter enter that. There's going to be prizes and get for this giveaway. Um, you can enter on our Instagram using the hashtag. hashtag spring scrap along you can enter on facebook at homemade with love by loretta and blaine they are co-hosting it with us and they they will have prizes also and you can enter on our rivalry group okay and almost forgot there's a scrapple going along on also that is we're co-hosting that with Homemade with Love from L with Loretta and Blaine. And there's a, an Amagurumi, the, a poncho that I made. And you can find it. It's poncho number two. It's all ready to go. And two project bags. Tickets for that are $5 each. And it's going for a good cause to get a piece of medical equipment for... Um, another YouTuber that is in, in need. Um, six for 25. I say, get a ticket. You, you could win just as easy as anyone else. You can follow us on Instagram at two non yarn snobs. You can find us on Ravelry. I am JD's girl, and Anna is Joey's rip. You can send us an email at 2 snobs at gmail.com. Okay, so what have I been up to this week? I kind of get on a kick and I do one thing and then I do quite a bit of that one thing and then I switch. So, I am on a dishcloth thing and I had a lot of fun with it. So, I'm going to show you my finished dishcloths. This is um, Crafter Secret in the color Papaya. And this is Grandma's Favorite Dishcloth by PJ Allen. I knit it on a size 5 needle. I have um, some Susan Bates Quicksilvers. And those are my all-time favorite knitting needle. They do not come in an interchangeable set that I'm aware of. And they're kind of hard to find. Even on Amazon, they're kind of hard to find. So, this is dishcloth one. This is the Super Simple Diamond Dishcloth by Louise Patterson. And this is a scrappy dishcloth. This is Peaches and Cream Yellow. I don't know what the color was. It, I just had a little round tiny ball. And then I striped in peaches and cream stripey in green stripes. And we went down to here. And then I didn't think I had enough to finish. So I put in a couple of stripes of I love this cotton in teal. And then I finished up with the stripey and I used all of it. So what's the difference between this dishcloth and this dishcloth? Not a lot to tell the truth. This dishcloth is knit on the bias. So I started down here and I knit until I got 40 stitches. You start with three and I knitted until I had 40 stitches. And then I, by doing a knit front and back. And then when I got to 40 stitches, you start decreasing by doing a knit two together until you get back down to three stitches. And then you just cast off, bind off. So, Grandma's favorite dishcloth. I think it, it's actually Grandma's second favorite dishcloth. Anyway, PJ Allen. 
Super Simple Diamond Dishcloth by Louise Patterson. You start with three stitches and you do knit front and back until you get to 40 stitches. And then you do three rows even before you start the de decreases. So it is a little more diamond shape maybe. Anyway, I like both patterns. So, scrappy dishcloth. Another super simple diamond dishcloth by Louise Patterson. And this is Peaches and Cream Stripey in green stripes. This is so soft. It is not like the other Peaches and Cream dishcloth number three. Dishcloth number four. Super simple diamond dishcloth. And that's all the the all I got out of that skein. I was able to make two complete dishcloths and part of another one. Another super si simple diamond dishcloth in this color. This is sugar, Lily Sugar and Cream, peaches, peaches and Cream in the colorway Poppy. And one more. And I do have some of this left. I just don't know what I'm going to put it with yet. So, two of those. Okay. I bet y'all are tired of seeing those, right? So then I decided I needed to crochet a couple of dishcloths. So this is She Sells Seashells Washcloth. There's your information. And this is Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton in the colorway teal. And I think it's a lovely little shell pattern. And it was, it was pretty fun. It was pretty interesting construction. Because this is, the middle is where you start. And then you work your shells down. And then when you get that part done, you come back and pick back up and work the shells up. So you have shells on both ends. And I thought that was kind of fun. So this dishcloth is Just Right and Big Time Dishcloths. And I did, it is a very nice dishcloth. It ha, it feels nice. It feels thick. Um, This is a peaches and cream. I don't know what the colorway was. It was not a full ball. It was just a little piece of a ball. It's fairly simple. It's a half double and a single crochet, a half double and a single crochet. And it's pretty. The yarn, this yarn was really splitty for me. And I did not enjoy the process. I've made it. Someone will love it. It will not be a pattern I go back to make again. And then the last one I made is a crocheted dishcloth that's a flower and this is called clean sweep so that's pretty much what i did this week other than i finished the kerchief the ice yarns kerchief i might have it tied in my hair pretty sure i do well it might not come out. Oh, there it is. This is the Ice Yarn Sock Yarn. And it's called Sock Print. And I finished this. And I really like this. I haven't worn it for a whole day. Or anything like that. I did, um... Make ties. My hair is in it. So I could tie it on and make it as tight as I wanted. And, um, just half a granny. I did 65 chains for the ties and then single crocheted back into them. And I love the little curly cue. And I haven't woven the ends. But, I did go to Walmart. I know, you're shocked. I'm kind of shocked too. Um, I just, 
I knew I needed to get it some a darning needle and start getting these ends woven. And that's all my FOs. So now I'm going to show you my works in progress. Like I said, I went to Walmart and I got a darning needle and I wove in all the ends on my granny squares and counted them. I had 80 done. I'm pretty sure I'll want 100 or 110. So I made some more granny squares. I'm going to set this on the floor, and I'm going to get uncomfortably close. <clears throat> so these are the granny squares I made this week. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that means I have 93 and seven more. I can lay it out and see if I think it's going to be big enough. But I do think 100, either 100 or 110 will make it plenty big enough. And then I only have one more work in progress. And calling it a work in progress might be a little bit of a stretch. Because I just started it yesterday. But I'm going to show it to you. Because I've been trying. So this is a pattern I found in one of my books. This is Melissa Leapman's Stash Buster Knits. I'm having an avalanche. And... This is the cardigan I'm going to make. And it's a cropped cardigan. I didn't think I'd ever make a cropped cardigan. Or wear one. But I have some summery dresses. And I'm at that age or whatever. That I don't want my arms to show. Because um, I lost quite a bit of weight I went from about 280 to 230 and so my arms aren't aren't very pretty but that's okay so I thought maybe this little cardigan to throw on on top of some of my summer dresses would be nice and look at the colors it's a pretty simple knit it's a raglan top down so I'll be able to try it on and make sure it's big enough before I separate for the sleeves. Or So the yarn I'm using is Red Heart's Chic Sheep. It's 100% Superwash Merino. And um, I got it on clearance for $2.50 and it was $10 a skein. So I am pretty happy with that. And the main color I'm going to use... Is called dragon fruit and then I have this one and I'm not so sure about it because I think it might be too matchy matchy and not enough contrast but it looks good here and it's called sunset and then this creamy white is called lace And I have this yellow, and it's called Mimosa. And I have the, the Aqua, and it's called Poolside. This is a lovely yarn. It's very soft. I mean, really soft. And I am tickled to death with it. Um, I've had it in my stash for over a year, or I bet right out of year and I haven't used it for anything but I think it's going to come in perfect for this little this little crop cardigan that I might make long I may, might make it full length and then remember the skein the crazy skein of um, hand spun 
I think I'm going to work that in there too. What do y'all think? Do you think this will go in there with all those colors? I really like it, and I don't know what I would use it for, but I could get a few stripes of this in there. Mm. It would make it to where I couldn't put it in the washing machine, but to tell the truth, I wouldn't put this sweater in a wa washing machine anyway. Even though it's super wash, it's a short sleeve cardigan. I can hand wash that and lay it flat to dry, no problem. And I think if I'm going to put the time in it to make it, I can take the 10 minutes it'll take to wash it. Well, I know this is kind of a shorter video. I have the house to myself. Jerry and Landon have gone fishing. I love my 10-year-old child with all of my heart. But this mama needed a break. Because he goes to work with me. He comes home with me, and we have been together 24 hours a day for months. And yes, he'll go in his room and watch TV and play and do things on his own, but having an hour to yourself, there's nothing quite like that. Nothing quite like that. And I forgot to turn off the TV in the in the front room. And I hope that you can't hear it in the video. But if you can, I'm only human and I left the TV on. But anyway, I know it was a little bit of a shorter video. I plan to come back and next Saturday and show you what I might have started and what I might have finished. Maybe I'll have that Cardi done. Maybe. And I think I might need to make another shawl. Because I haven't made enough this year. Only like four. So, until next week. Please stay safe. Wash your hands. Bye.